Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training, and in this video, we're going to look at some VBA code that will do the following. We want to loop through all of these branch names, and wherever we find a new name, we want to create a worksheet for that name and copy the relevant record to that sheet. So I've already written the code for you, but I'm going to walk you through it to help you understand it. The top I've got some variables branch field is set to column D branch name is just the individual branches within that column that I can use within a for each next loop down here new worksheet will hold the new worksheet I need to create every time I come across a new branch worksheet here I use in another loop a nested loop just to check whether there's already a worksheet for the branch Worksheet found will hold true or false. True if the branch already has a sheet, false if it doesn't. Data worksheet is just set to the current sheet, data sheet down here. Okay, so let's just look at the code that I've got here. So I'm starting down here for each branch name in the branch field. So for each of these cells in column D, the first thing I need to do is work out whether there's already a sheet, say for the Portsmouth branch, so I'm saying if the worksheet name, so the worksheet that I'm looping through currently is equal to this branch name, then the worksheet has been found and I need to exit this nested for each next loop. Otherwise, worksheet found equals false. So this is a nested for each next loop within my main for each next loop. And all that's doing is working out whether I already have a sheet for the current branch name. If worksheet found is true, then what I need to do is copy the current record to that sheet. And the way I've done that is I've started with the branch name and I've gone back to column A. So offset, no rows, three columns to the left. And then I'm gonna resize it to 13 columns and one row, which will be that. And then I'm gonna copy that range to the worksheet with the branch name on it. And I'm gonna copy it to the next available row. So I'm starting in range A1, I go down to the last consecutive value in column A, and then I go down one further row and paste the record into that row. So that's if the worksheet is found. If it's not found, I need to create a new sheet. So set new worksheet to sheet add. So I add a new sheet. And I'm going to place it after the last sheet in this workbook. After, see that parameter there, after colon equals. And I'm counting the number of sheets that are currently in the workbook. Then I need to copy the headings to that sheet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the headings starting in A1 in my data sheet, right to the end. So end Excel to right, that will take me to the last heading and I'm gonna copy it to the new sheet range A1. Then I need to copy the actual record itself and that line of code is very much like this line of code, except that once I've copied it, the destination is range A2, immediately below the headings that I've just copied up here. Then I've ended that if statement and I've ended the main for each next loop. So the last thing to do is just a little bit of tidying up. I'm going to go through each worksheet in the workbook and I'm going to auto fit all of the columns and I'm done. So let's just step through the code so you can see how this works. I'm pressing F8 to go through it. So branch name initially equals Portsmouth. So I'm saying for each worksheet in this workbook, does the worksheet equal Portsmouth essentially? and it will say no, couldn't find it. So worksheet found equals false. So that means then that we go on to this if statement and it will go down to else and it will create the new sheet. So it's created a new sheet, you can see sheet one down there and now it's named it Portsmouth. It's gonna copy the column headings and then it's gonna copy the record. So I'll do one more loop. So for each worksheet in this workbook. So now I'm on, I'm looking at Wakefield. 
go back into there. So branch name is Wakefield. So is there a sheet for Wakefield? No, there isn't. So again, we get a false. And it's going to go down here. It's going to create the sheet for Wakefield. And copy the data into that sheet. So I'm just going to play it to complete the sub procedure. It does take a little while to do it. And now I'm going to have a little look at the workbook and you'll see that I've got a sheet. We're about a thousand records on that initial data sheet. So I've got a sheet for each branch and I've got the relevant data copied into that sheet. Okay, that's all there is to this video. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The featured file and the code I will leave a link for in the description. <laughs>